Today I'm going to tell you about the easiest and tastiest way to make a low carb burger. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about making a burger. It's a little bit of a recipe, but I think recipes are for losers. You should just know how to make things uh, without any following any instructions. There's basic uh, ingredients and stuff and ways to cook things. You don't need uh, to follow instructions. But any uh, good uh, low carb or carnivore person knows that all you need to do to turn like a high carb meal into a low carb meal is to remove the bread and the carbs and the starches. It's that simple. Like in this case, it's you can make a burger, a hamburger at the restaurant with fries and all this other garbage is like a high carb, fatty meal. But if you want to have a hamburger and make it low carb, you just eat the meat. That's it. And the bacon and the mayo and what have you. Um, you know, I love plain burgers. We eat them almost uh, every meal. But sometimes, you know, it's human tendency to get it gets a little repetitive, although it doesn't happen often because all I want to do is become satiated and a couple bites of meat and I'm on with my day. I don't even think about food. But sometimes, you know, it does get a little bit boring and uh, you want to spice things up. And what I normally do is I'll, I'll make something actually literally like hotter, spicy with cayenne pepper, red pepper, um, jalapeno. Jalapeno doesn't sit well too much with me these days since I've been full carnivore. So I, I mentioned in a previous video that I kind of, I'm not a big fan of spices too much anymore, especially uh, the real uh, raw ingredients, but the powdered spices are, are a lot more uh, tolerable. But uh, I'm going to tell you about this burger I made the other day and it was completely by accident. It's, it's, uh, I bought this salsa at uh, Walmart, I believe it was. It was like $3, not even, $2.87 or something like that. Herdez guacamole salsa. And it, it looks like guacamole and it's, it's like a liquidy kind of um, a sauce. And the other day I was making burgers. I'm like, ah, what the heck? What am I doing here? And I looked through the fridge and I, I had like this much left in the hair days. But I'm going to just dump it into the meat and I mashed it up with gloves. I wear gloves when I mash my meat up and I pushed it into my burger pressing uh, little apparatus and I made a bunch of burgers. It was the best. And I, this, this little salsa I have, I use for dipping my meat in because it, it, it's bursting with flavor. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to get right to it. Here, here's the recipe basically. You get a whole bunch of red meat, ground uh, beef. And like here in the picture, I have a three pound pack of 85% meat from ShopRite. They didn't have the 80%, so I bought the 85. You know, sometimes I, you just do what you have to do. And I cut it in half. I used about a pound and a half of meat. And I poured a little bit of this uh, Herdez uh, guacamole salsa on there. And I think it might have been two or three ounces. You could adjust it as you feel fit. Uh, I think too much of it is going to make the burger kind of like liquidy. And I'm sure you could do it, but it's just a little bit harder to work with. And I put uh, salt in. I don't use pepper too much these days, but you can salt and pepper to taste. I, I highly recommend at least a little bit of salt and then everybody else can salt it further after it's cooked. You can't unsalt something. That's one of the problems with salt. And I, I, I like to use uh, onion powder because that adds a little bit more flavor to it. But anyway, you mash it up, you put it into patties and then cook it any way you see fit. And you're going to have, I'm not going to tell you how to cook it. I mean, if you don't know how to cook a hamburger, you're, you're, there's no help in you. Um, but I just cook it up and you're just going to have like a delicious, uh, like a flavor explosion. It's going to make you enjoy it. You don't really eat more. It doesn't become that great that, uh, you're, you're eating until you're, 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 you explode. No, I, I still have one burger and I'm done. But it's really a fa easy way to make a hamburger that is terrific. And there's no thinking about it. Um, there's no worrying about how many uh, uh, teaspoons of this or that you put in. It's just a great thing. So please hit the subscribe and the like and the bell and all that. And I'll see you next video. I hope you enjoy the burgers.